Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing yet another haul. This time it is all beauty. So I have some makeup, fragrance, skincare, hair care. Most everything here I purchased myself, but I did throw in some PR simply because I don't wanna to wait to show you. I just wanna dive right in. Before we begin, if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm so happy you found me. This is our pink sparkly bubble on YouTube where we talk about luxury, beauty, fragrance, fashion, everything glam. So if that sounds good to you, join us by subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell. We're going to begin with this little baggie from Selfridges. This just arrived today and I haven't even peeked inside, so I'm really excited. I ordered this maybe a week and a half ago. Their shipping is pretty quick considering they're based in the UK. Here's my little packing slip. So I ordered one of the new Byredo eyeshadow palettes. They launched three palettes. The packaging looks incredible. The colors inside look really beautiful, but I went with corporate colors, which I have to laugh at the name. It's pretty funny because this is the most generic of all three palettes, but it's wearable. It's something that I know I will use. And without knowing anything about the texture, the formula, I just figured that was the safe bet. They also have Siren, which looks really beautiful. I almost added this to cart, but I stopped myself. I've been really good about not placing too many unnecessary purchases. Despite all of the hauls I've uploaded recently, I really have pulled back with new releases. So I did not pick this up. It has that one green eyeshadow right in the middle. That's really what stopped me, but the purple looks really vibrant. The light pink looks pretty. The blue is really nice. I'm not sure how all of these colors are going to go together, so I figured I should skip it until I've tested it out. And then they also have Sciomancer, which looks really vibrant. You have orange, purple, blue, green, and a sparkly charcoal. Very unique color combinations for the two colorful palettes. I do think it's a bit of a shame that they gave us blue, purple, and green in both of the colorful eyeshadow palettes because it just made it so easy to skip both of them. Whereas if they had come out with three totally different palettes, maybe I would have picked up the second. So I went with corporate colors. They're $64, five shadows, which I think is not a terrible price. The makeup prices for Byredo have been towards the higher end of the spectrum. They're in line with Chanel, Dior, Gucci. I was actually happy they priced it at $64 and they didn't try to charge even more than that. So it has a little bag, just like the lipsticks. Ooh. Overall, it's much deeper than I anticipated and these first two shadows and the fourth shadow look like a really creamy, shimmery texture. You can just tell. It looks like they're gonna go on like butter. Really beautiful. This fourth shade almost looks like it has a deep hunter green undertone. Yeah, it's pretty dark. I think this will be really nice for smoky eyes, as well as everyday looks, if you just stick with the first three shades. It looks really beautiful. I'm impressed and I thought maybe I was going to be kicking myself when it arrived and I would wish that I had picked up one of the more colorful palettes, but I have to be practical. You know, I have some colorful palettes that I purchased on a whim because I got too excited and I never really touched them. These are shades that I will actually use. Letterhead, Eraser, Pushpin, Manila, and Stilo. The names of the shades make me laugh. They kept it corporate, makes perfect sense for this palette. And I will say this would be perfect for wearing to the office or a Zoom call since I know we're now working from home. Moving on now to some Tom Ford. I picked this up from Saks Off Fifth. I think a week ago, I just double checked. I think this might be sold out, but they still have quite a few pieces from Tom Ford drastically marked down. And then they have an additional 20% off savings on top of that. Definitely worth checking out. Just do a little browse. This was the only thing that I found that I really wanted to add to my collection. It's one of the jumbo compacts, which I've showed this before, but I had borrowed it. So I'm so happy to add this to my collection. And I picked up Gold Dust. They also had Terra. I believe they had both shades. So this is not a new product. It's been around for a while. I don't know how this was sent to Saks Off Fifth because in every store that carried this that I know of, every department store, 
They sold out immediately and it was really difficult to get your hands on this bronzer. Somebody must have had a surplus because they ended up at Saks Off Fifth. In fact, I saw Morgan Turner post about it and I waited, I think, a full week before I finally said, oh, you know what, I should go ahead and get that. The price is too good. I want to say this retails for $120 originally. It was on sale for $64 and then there was an additional discount. So with shipping, I think I paid $50 for this bronzer, which is not bad. $50 is still very pricey for a bronzer, but the Jumbo Compact from Tom Ford, I don't think you can beat that price. I had to have it for this price. And the gold dust between the two shades has a little bit more luminosity and it's a bit deeper in tone. So I was glad they still had this one available. And I noticed a couple weeks ago when I was catching up with keeping up with the Kardashians, I was keeping up with, I know I'm outing myself, but it is my guilty pleasure. I do watch trash TV from time to time. But it was one of the episodes where Kendall Jenner was getting ready for a photo shoot. I think it was for her architectural digest cover. And they showed her holding this giant Tom Ford compact. And at the time I was like, that's the Tom Ford compact. And then I laughed because you would think maybe she'd be holding Kylie Cosmetics or KKW Beauty. But of course, they still use Chanel and Tom Ford and all of these other luxury brands. I have more Tom Ford Beauty here, but this is a new item. It's from their holiday collection this year, which I said I was not going to pick up anything. I was really disappointed with their eyeshadow quad. It looked really beautiful. I just felt like the colors were too similar to some of their other available quads. So I skipped that and I thought this balm looked terrible initially. And then I saw more and more people picking it up and swatching it. And I completely changed my mind and I thought, well, actually, that's really beautiful. For the price, I'm still not convinced it's really worth it, but I had a $40 credit card reward and then an additional $10 off for Beauty Insider points. So this cost me $6. I can live with a $6 lip balm, especially when it looks like this. It looks extremely sparkly. It's so beautiful. Wow. Photos can't capture the beauty of the lip balm. That was problem number one. It was when I saw more people swatching it and showing videos of it that I thought, you know what? I think I need to have that after all. I'm so glad I picked this up and I'm glad I waited and I got such a great deal on it. I mean, six bucks, I had to. What else was I going to spend it on? I just showed this in my last fragrance video, which I did in collaboration with Karina Waldron. We did a top five holiday party perfumes list, but this is the Tom Ford Lost Cherry set. I figure I should show you guys again. I ended up getting this on sale from Macy's when they had 15% off, and it might have been a mistake, but they had this listed at $325 instead of $340, which is already a savings of $10. Wow, I know. Because this fragrance retails for $350. It's the Uber Lux, Uber Luxury Price Point from Tom Ford. But I'm so happy I was able to get my hands on this because it's a set that I wanted for a really long time. This has been on my wish list. I was so disappointed when it sold out quickly from Sephora. They still have this available at Saks, a couple other places, so it's not sold out everywhere. I'm not sure you're going to be able to get a great discount, but actually today I got an email from Saks saying that they had fragrances 15% off, so you never know. I think at some point before the holidays are over, we're going to see a lot of other big sales and deep discounts from other retailers. So keep an eye out, check all of your emails in case this is something that was on your wish list. The set comes with the 50 milliliter bottle, 1.7 ounces, and a 10 milliliter travel spray, which is refillable. Even with the additional discount, I wanna say the set came out to a little less than $300, so it is still very pricey. If you know somebody who loves Lost Cherry, though, it is a decent value since you get the travel spray. It would be worth trying to pick this up for them. This was my one big splurge from the Sephora sale, even though I ended up getting it from Macy's. I was just happy I was able to get my hands on it at a discount. I have another new fragrance here. This is something I purchased from Saks last week. It's Amber Nuit from Christian Dior. It's one of the Maison Dior fragrances, 
which are a bit more difficult to find. And this is my very first Maison Dior purchase. I was convinced that Belle du Jour was going to be my very first Maison Dior. It's more of a spring summer fragrance. I was looking for something for fall and I was actually looking for something to replace Luby Funk, which I had ordered online. It was a blind buy based on the notes because I love Luby Rouge. It's part of the new Luby World collection from Christian Louboutin. Luby Funk arrived, I sprayed it on my arm and it disappeared within 20 minutes. It's not a bad fragrance. It's actually really beautiful. It's just so soft. For $300, I need to be able to smell the fragrance for longer than 20 minutes. When I made the purchase, the sales associate was really smart. She sent me away with a couple samples of Amber Nuit. So I opened the samples whenever I got home and I've worn it a couple times since I purchased. I wanted to keep it wrapped just in case I changed my mind and I wanted to exchange it again. I try not to do that, but with an expensive fragrance, you want to make sure you love it. So I wore it on my skin a couple times and it would... It was love. I absolutely love this fragrance because when you're in store, especially now wearing the mask, even if you take the mask down, something about having your mask mouth covered, I think changes the way you smell fragrances. I don't know. I feel like I can't smell anything with my mouth covered. It's very strange, I know, but I find it very difficult to smell anything. So I was very happy that when I got home and I had the opportunity to smell it without the mask, from the comfort of my own home, I still really loved it. You can see from the juice itself, it has that caramel color that it's going to be kind of spicy, ambery. First spray, oh my gosh, I love the mister. Oh, it's so nice. I could see this being a unisex fragrance, but I think it's still very feminine. It's feminine enough that I still will love to wear this. It's very fall, date night, evening out. As it dries down, it's just getting better and better. It's really sensual, but it's not too strong. It's not too spicy. It's not masculine, clone, old spice, spicy. And I also don't think it's too heavy. The line is pretty huge. It's just like the exclusive fragrances from Chanel or the Privé fragrances from Armani. It's their higher end, higher echelon fragrances from Dior. A lot of really beautiful, very popular standouts. And I want to say they have candles in all white. They look so beautiful. I think that would make an incredible holiday gift. And now I have some PR to dig into. So the final fragrance I'm going to share today was sent over a complimentary from Parfum de Marly. And I requested this fragrance because I fell in love with it. I first tried this years ago whenever I was working at Nordstrom and I was obsessed. And it was somebody in the men's fragrance department that even pointed this out to me. I would have never found it had it not been for him. And then I was at a master class up in Aventura a couple weeks ago. And I said, you know what? I've had my mind on this fragrance. I don't remember what it smells like. I just remember being obsessed with it. Can I smell it again? And it was Ojan, this one. So I reached out to them and asked if they wouldn't mind sending this over. And they were so generous and they agreed. <laughs> so this just arrived today. Comes with a little card. What's so interesting is that this is considered to be one of the men's fragrances, but I think it is so sexy and so feminine. I love this so much. I can't even imagine it on a man. I just want it for myself. I think if I had smelled it on a blotter card and nobody told me it was a men's fragrance, I would never have guessed. Mm. Oh my God. It is so good. Okay, Ooh, I'm excited. First spray. Ooh. Oh, it is so beautiful. Oh, I'm in love. It's slightly sweet. It does have notes of honey. I know that. So sexy, so sensual, warm, very fall winter. This is one of those cozy cuddle with someone you love type of fragrances. It's not overly spicy. It's really not too masculine. I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk about it on YouTube. I think you have to discover it in store, maybe by chance. Somebody has to know about it and then spread the word. 
if you have a Parfum de Marly counter near you, I highly recommend you have to go smell this and let me know what you think. Are you as obsessed with this as I am? You probably will be. Next, I have this beautiful box that was sent over complimentary from Sean Takai. This was their holiday clutch that came out with the collection last year, and I remember being so torn. I was on the fence about whether or not I should buy this, and I didn't, so I'm very happy that it ended up turning up anyhow. And inside are a couple of pieces from last year's holiday collection, which last year's holiday collection was one of my all-time favorites. Really beautiful. So inside, which this can be used as a clutch, or I guess you could store probably makeup, jewelry. You could kind of just keep it on display on your vanity if you wanted to, or you could just take it out as an evening bag. It has this really pretty gold leaf inside. So here we have the Eclat Du Face Powder. This is one of my all-time favorite products. I talk about it constantly. It's really smooth and creamy. It's really buttery. It's very brightening. Just makes you look like an angel. And then they also included three of their lipsticks. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I don't know if this is still available. It was exclusive to their website. So if it is available, that's where you can purchase this. Rubelite, that's the one that I have. It's more of a fuchsia pink, really pretty. And then they sent over Carnelian, which was a repeat. This shade also came out as part of the Polar Ice collection last spring, and Rose Quartz, which is a lighter, nudier pink. I'm really excited about this. The Lip Crystal Lipsticks is one of the products where a portion of the proceeds goes back to one of their nonprofits. You can read all about them on their website. Huge thank you to Shantikai for sending over that beautiful holiday gift. Last year's collection was one of the best, if not the most beautiful. And then I also received this little makeup pouch from Colleen Rothschild. Or actually, I think it's a skincare pouch. I really like this bag though. It's really nice. So inside are some of the super soft facial cottons. I will definitely use these. Inside, we also have this matcha tea treatment toner. That sounds nice. It detoxifies. It has antiseptic power to help fight bacteria, breakouts, minimize the appearance of redness. Nice. I'm excited to try that. Love me some matcha. They also sent over the Retinol Supreme Eye Serum. That sounds really good. I'm currently using a retinol eye cream and I don't think it's really working. I haven't noticed a huge difference, so maybe if I combine it, if I pair it with this eye serum, maybe this will give it the boost it needs. We also have the Colleen Rothschild Mandelic Acid Radiance Serum. I've never heard of Mandelic Acid. Daily treatment to promote cellular turnover. It's an AHA. Skin instantly looks refreshed, and over time, a smoother, brighter, more radiant complexion is revealed. That's all I want in life. Hmm. I'm going to Google Mandelic Acid because I've never heard of it. I've never tried it. And I'm just curious what it's supposed to do. What makes this different from other acids? Cell turnover. It sounds like something I would probably want to use in the evenings. I will try that out. And then the last thing I have heard of, this is the face oil number nine. And I love a skincare oil. I'm currently using the watery oil from Guerlain, but I'm excited to try this as well. It's not too thin, it's not too thick. It's just right. What's great about a facial oil like this, oh, that smells so good, is that you can apply it by itself you can mix it into a foundation, mix it into a moisturizer if you want to. It just gives your skincare that extra boost. It does feel like it's absorbing into the skin. It's not going to stay oily. It's basically gone. <laughs> I, I massaged it into my hand. And now it just feels really soft. Ooh. I am going to use that tonight. I am excited. And then the last item I have here to share that was sent over complimentary is some hair care. It's from the brand DP Hue. I think that's how you say it. I recognize Justin Anderson from Very Cavalry. 
I think he does celebrities hair out in LA. He's co-founder of the brand. It says celebrity colorist and TV personality. So let's see, they sent over a couple items in here. This first one is the apple cider vinegar hair mask. That sounds really interesting. You know I love a hair mask. I'm willing to try it all. But the apple cider vinegar, color safe, free of parabens, sulfates, gluten, silicone, and cruelty free. It's supposed to deep condition with smart proteins that target damaged areas of hair. Blended with fatty acid rich rosehip, avocado, and coconut oils. Ooh, I wonder how it smells. Sunflower seed extract, it protects color and enriched vitamin B5 to strengthen hair. I'm too curious, I have to smell this. Oh! Mmm! It smells really nice. It looks really light. No vinegar smell, it's really beautiful. It looks like a lightweight whipped formula. I think I'm gonna wash my hair tonight. If I do, I will use this mask as well. They also sent this light blonde gloss. It's a semi-permanent hair color and deep conditioner. Crazy healthy shine with a rich color boost. Anytime I see semi-permanent hair color, I get a bit nervous. I'm sure it's safe. I doubt it's any different than using a purple shampoo to help combat brassiness, which I do usually go in with a purple shampoo every once in a while. If it's starting to look really yellow, really brassy, right up here near the root, I'll go in with a deep purple treatment. But this looks really pretty. It's kind of a pale oatmeal shade. There's a sample of the apple cider vinegar scalp scrub. This is the apple cider vinegar hair rinse, a shampoo substitute that gently removes impurities. It's supposed to rebalance pH, seal cuticle with color locking technology. What do you guys think? Has anybody tried this brand yet? DP Hue? Are you familiar with apple cider vinegar hair products? If you are, let me know down below in the comment section. I'll definitely try the mask. That is everything I have to share for today's haul. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.